Good day, Magasol Hamad Lagabas. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another video content. And for today's content, do uh, tayo jump sa pang grade 8 na lessons. And it's all about factoring. So, all different kinds of factoring po na pinagkarada ng grade 8. So, let, meron tayong common monomial factor, difference of 2 squares, sum and difference of 2 cubes, perfect square trinomial, and quadratic trinomial. So, tuturoan ko kayo kung paano ba mag-factor ng under dyan sa mga special factoring na yan. Okay? So, if you're new, please consider subscribing. Thank you. So, the first one is the common monomial factor. So, when we say common monomial factor, it is the greatest factor common to all the terms of a given polynomial. So, meron ako mga terms dyan to, find, to ponder and basahin nyo lang yung mga, baka may mga banggit ako na term dyan. So, na dyan na yan. So, let's have the first example. The given is 2x raised to 5, um, y raised to 7 plus 8x cubed, y squared minus 6x cubed y raised to 4. So, how are we going to um, factor that kind of polynomial? So, under the common monomial factor, kukuha lang tayo ng, syempre, ng CMF. Paano ba tayo kukuha ng CMF? Kinukuha mo yung CMF, una, titingin ka doon sa numerical coefficient. Diba, meron tayo ditong 2, 8, and then 6. Ganto lang yan. Tingnan nyo lang yung pinakamababang number sa tatlo. Ito yung 2. Tapos, kapag divisible yung dalawa, 8 and 6, ibig sabihin, ito na yung pwede natin gamitin as sure um, GCF ng numerical coefficient. So, ilalabas natin yung 2. Yan. And then, pagdating naman sa variable, syempre, una natin titingnan yung common. Common ba yung x sa lahat? x raised to 5, x raised to 3, x raised to 3. Kapag nakita natin na pare-parehas lahat yan may common na x, so, ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung x at yung may pinakamababang exponent. That's why it's x raised to 3. Same with y. Pag y, kung ano yung pinakamababa sa tatlo, 7, 2, and 4, syempre yung 2. Yan. And then, magkakaroon na tayo ng open parenthesis. Ngayon, paano ba natin makukuha yung factor na dito sa loob? So, ang gagawin natin, Itong every term, i-divide natin dito sa factor na ito, ito sa 2x cubed y raised to 2 sa common monomial factor. I-divide yan. Numerical sa numerical, pag dinivide natin yan, 1. 2 divided by 2, 1. Pag nag-divide tayo ng variable, ganito lang yan. Diba ito, 5. Tapos tinanggalan mo ng 3. Ito na napira, ito dalawa, so x squared. Dito din sa y raised to 7, tsaka y squared. Ilan na matitira pag binawasan ng dalawa, lima. Tapos, kunin natin yung plus. And then, yung 8 naman, dinivide by 2, the answer is 4. 8 divided by 2. Laging i-divide dito sa 2x sa CMF. Yung x cubed, dinivide sa x cubed. Yung tatlo, tinanggalan mo ng tatlo, eh, na-cancel na. And then, yung y squared, um, na-cancel na din. Kasi nga, parehas. So, 4 na lang. Minus, yung 6, dinivide mo kay 2, that's 3. Tapos yung x cube, dahil x cube to at x cube din to, tinanggalan mo na wala ng x. Yung y na lang. So y, ilan to? Apat. Ilan to? Dalawa. Pinawasan mo ng dalawa, e di squared. So yan na yung, sulat ko lang ng panibago. We have 2 x cube y squared, quantity x squared, y raised to 5, tinanggalan mo na yung 1, plus 4 minus 3 y squared. So, that's the final answer. This is now the factor. Okay, next. Another example, we have 5x squared y raised to 5 minus 6x y raised to 9. Kapag ganito naman yung case, kung mapapansin nyo, yung 5 and 6, walang number, di ba, na pwedeng makadivide kay 5 and 6. Ibig sabihin, walang GCF. Yung numerical, yung number. So, hindi natin, hindi tayo maglalagay dito ng GCF. Proceed tayo doon sa variable. Since pare siyang may x at ang may pinakamababang exponent yung x, so kukunin natin yon. And then yung y naman, ang pinakamababang exponent, 5 and 9, so yung y raised to 5 ang kukunin natin. Then, divide. Since 5 to, wala naman to 1, kapinya agad natin si 5. 
And then, yung dalawang x, bawasan mo ng isa, so may isa ka pa. Yung y raised to 5, binawasan mo ng y raised to 5, wala na. And then, minus 6, lagay na natin. Isang x, binawasan na isang x, wala na. Siyam na y, binawasan ng 5, so y raised to 4. This is now our final answer. This is positive, haba kang malito ka na. Ganun lang ang common monomial factor. Okay? Tandaan, GCF muna ng numbers and then pag-variable kung ano yung pinakamababang exponent. Okay? Next, let's now proceed to difference of 2 squares. So, ito yung isa sa pinakamadali. Ganito lang yan kasimple. So, sa so difference of 2 squares, it is the difference between 2 perfect square monomials. Parang dinescribe lang. So, pag-factor ng difference of 2 squares, di ba we have x squared minus 64. Ang gagawin mo lang dyan, ganito lang kasimple ha. Kunin mo lang yung square root ng dalawa. Ano ba ang x square root ng x squared? It will become x. Pag square root ng variable sa exponent, di-divide mo lang, automatic may 2 cancel na yan. And then yung 64 naman, 8. Diba? Square root of 64, 8. So gagawin mo lang, paghihiwalayin mo lang, isang positive at isang negative. O isang plus at isang minus. So ang factors po niyan ay x plus 8 and x minus 8. Ganun lang kasimple. Isang plus at isang minus. Okay? Next example, 9x squared minus 121. So, kunin lang natin ang square root. Diba ang square root ng 9 ay 3, ang x squared x. Tapos, ang square root ng 121 ay 11. So, plus minus lang 3x plus 11 and 3x minus 11. So, that's how you factor difference of 2 squares. Another example, ayan, medyo madami ng variable. Kapag ganito, ganun lang ulit. Kunin natin yung square root. Diba ang square root ng 9 ay 3. And then yung x squared, x na lang. Paano yung y raised to 4? Kapag kinukuha natin ang square root ng variable na may exponent, tinidivide lang natin yung exponent sa 2. So meron tayo ditong y squared. Plus minus, anong square root ng 4? 2. And then, anong square root ng z? Squared, z. So pag ihiwalayin natin, 3xy squared plus 2z times 3xy squared minus 2z. So, that's how you factor difference of 2 squares. Okay? Next. Next given, we have sum and difference of 2 cubes. So, sa cube naman, may fa special factor po yan, yung sum and difference, kapag naka-plus at kapag naka-minus. Ito ngayon yung shortcut. So, sa sum of 2 cubes muna tayo. It is a sum of binomial term with both terms that are perfect cube. So, ang gagawin mo lang dyan, kukunin mo lang yung cube root ng dalawang term. Ano ba yung cube root? Pag sinabing cube root, um, ibig sabihin, hanap ka ng isang number na pag multiply mo sa sarili 3 times, tatlong beses mo multiply sa sarili, the result is the given, yung perfect cube. So, dito, pag ginawa natin ng cube root ng 8, ang sagot doon, 2. Kasi 2 times 2 times 2, 8. Okay? So, ang cube root naman ng variable na may exponent, dinidivide mo lang sa 3. So, meron ka ng x lang. Tapos, since plus 2, kunin natin yung plus. And then, cube root ng 27. So, that's 3. Tandaan nyo lang yan. Kapag sabihin yung mga perfect cube at saka perfect square para hindi na kayo nag-iisip ng kung ano yung cube root ng isang number. So, that meron kayong list. Bakit 3? Kasi 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. So, after mo makuha ng factor nito, ganito lang gagawin mo. Una mong gagawin, ito times mo sa sarili. Okay? So, let's suppose ang gawin natin dito ay first, tas ito last. So, gawin mo dito, f squared, and then since plus to minus fl plus l squared. So, ito na yung formula ng pangalawang factor gamit yung f and l. So, sulat natin, 2x plus 3. And then, mangyayari dito, ano ba yung f squared? So, ito times mo lang yung 2x sa sarili. So, 4x squared. Ganyan lang times. Tapos, gamit natin yung minus. And then, yung fl, ibig sabihin, pinag times ng f at saka ng l. So, 2x times 3, that's 6x. Plus, l squared. So, that's 9. So, this is now the factors. These are the factors. 2x plus 3. 
multiplied by 4x squared minus 6x plus 9. Okay? Susundan nyo lang yung pattern na to sa pangalawang factor. Let's have another example. Okay, so this time, difference naman tayo. Pero parehas lang din naman. So sa difference, ganun lang ulit. Kunin natin yung cube root. Diba, didivide mo lang sa 3. So magiging x na lang siya. Tapos yung y, magiging y squared. Kasi 6 divided by 2. I mean, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then, kunin natin yung minus. Kasi minus 2. Ano ba ang cube root ng 1? Ang cube root ng 1 ay 1. So ganun na. Then, um, ano yung second... Ano yung formula natin dito? We have f squared plus fl plus l squared. Kung mapapansin nyo, plus na. Tandaan, kapag minus to, plus yung nasa gitna. Pag plus to, minus yung nasa gitna. Yun yun yung rule. Okay? So, ano ba yung f squared? The times lang natin si xy squared sa sarili niya. So, x times x, x squared. And y squared times y squared is y to the fourth. Plus, product nito, di ba, xy squared lang din kasi 1 naman to, Tapos plus 1. So, that's the factors. Ulitin ko lang ng sulat, y squared minus 1 times x squared y to the 4th plus xy squared plus 1. So, this is the factor or factors. Next, ito naman tayo sa perfect square trinomial. So, easy lang din to pag perfect square trinomial. So, polynomial factors are the same. So, sa PST, para naman malaman natin kung PST, so, siguro, bibigyan naman niya sa inyo na PST, kapag kinomin square root nito, 3, kinomin square root ng una, x, tapos, minultiply ng dalawa, 3x, tapos, pag minultiply mo sa 2, 6x, pag nag-equal siya sa middle term, then, this is PST. Check yun, perfect square trinom yan. So, how do we factor the perfect square trinomial? Gagawin lang natin, sulat ko lang ng panibago, x squared plus 6x plus 9. Kunin mo lang yung square root ng first term. So, that's x. Tapos, kunin mo yung square root ng 9. So, that's 3. Get the sign of the middle term. That's plus. Tapos, squared. Again, na squared. Kasi nga sabi, uh, factors po ay the same. So, it's either you do this, x plus 3 squared, or... Paghiwala yan, x plus 3 times x plus 3. So, that's how you factor perfect square trinomial. Another example, we have 4x squared minus 24x, 4x to the 4th minus 24x squared plus 36. So, gawin lang natin, since PST naman na po yan, kunin natin yung square root ng dalawa. Diba ang square root ng 4, 2. Tapos, pag x, pag variable na may exponent, divide 2 lang. Then, kunin yung sign, negative. Tapos, get the square root of 36, so that's 6. So, times mo lang sa sarili, 2x squared minus 6. Or, 2x squared minus 6 squared. So, ayun na yung factors. Ganun lang siya kasi. Okay, let's now have the last one. The quadratic trinomial. So, sa quadratic trinomial naman, maraming method dito. So, a trinomial with 2 as the highest exponent of the variable. So, how do we um, factor x squared plus 6x plus 8? So, gagawin lang dito, pag nag-factor tayo ng quadratic trinomial, um, hahanap kayo ng dalawang number. So, ito pinag-plus, ito times. Hanap kayo ng dalawang number pag pinag-times 6, pag pinag-plus 8. Ganun lang yon. So, mag-iisip kayo doon. Um, pwedeng gumawa gawin nyo, um, hanap kayo ng dalawang number pag pinag plus 6, tapos i-multiply nyo yun. Halimbawa, um, 5 plus 1, 4 plus 2, ano pa ba? 3 plus 3, yan. Ngayon, pag minultiply nyo to at nag-equal sa siya sa 8, ibig sabihin, yun yung factors mo. Dito, di ba, kasi 5 plus 1, lahat to pag pinag plus 6. So, pag minultiply mo, 5 times 1, that's 5. 4 times, times 2, that's 8. And 3 times 3, that's 9. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung nagsatisfy. 4 and 2 are the numbers. Ano ang gagawin mo sa 4 and 2? Yun yung factors niyan. Since parehas positive, so x plus 4 and x plus 2. So, yun na yung sagot. Okay, next. Two, x squared plus 2x minus 24. So, since this is negative and this is positive, so, ibig sabihin, pag negative yung 
ito yung last term na to, dalawang number pag pinag-times, dapat negative. So, pili tayo. Pag positive po yung, yung middle term, ibig sabihin dapat yung number na mas mataas sa factors ay positive. Ganun lang yon So, di ba ito ay 24 times 1? So, negative. Or pwede rin namang 24 times negative 1. Either way, pwede. Then, we have 12 times 2. 6 times 4. And then, meron pa ba? Meron pa ba sa 3? 8 times 3. Ako na ko. And then, since negative yung isa, so dapat pag pinag-minus mo, kasi nga negative at positive, pag pinag-plus mo yun, um, you have to subtract the numbers. Alin dito ako magpapareha sa 2? Pag sinubtract mo, divide to 6 minus 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang factors mo ay isang 6 at isang negative 4. Kasi nga, mas mataas dapat ang positive, ang number na positive. Kasi positive yung linear term. So, we have x plus 6 and x minus 4 as the factors. So, yun po. Yan. So, let's what? Meron pa tayong isang isang. We have set x squared minus 7x plus 12. Kapag positive to, automatic, papaplasin yung dalawang number. So, since negative to, so, ibig sabihin, pwede rin dalawang negative. Kasi, pag, di ba, pag product, di ba, meron tayong 12 times 1, 6 times 2, 4 times 3. Di ba, pwede rin naman ang negative 12 times negative 1. Kasi nga, same pa rin na 12 ang kakalabasan. Um, negative 6 times negative 2 and negative 4 times negative 3. So, dito, wala tayong chance na maging, pas magiging negative to. Kasi nga, negative yung middle term. So, ibig sabihin, Alin dyan pag pinag-plus mo 7, itong dalawa. So, since parehas negative, so x minus 4 and x minus 3 as the factors of the given. So, that's all for factoring. Thank you. I hope you learned something. See you on my next video. Bye!